So if you have an NVIDIA graphics card installed on your PC, 70% chances that you might not have set it up correctly. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best NVIDIA control panel settings for better performance, better gaming in your gaming or ordinary computer. It can be any PC. Watch this video till the end for better results and let's get started. Alright, so first things first, you have to install GeForce Experience. If you are not aware of GeForce Experience, you can get it on the web. Search for GeForce Experience, download this simple application, and install it right up. You'll find it on NVIDIA's website. Once you are here, go to Drivers section and make sure to keep your drivers up to date. You can click on Check for Updates and the latest driver available will be shown right in front of you. Simply download it and restart your PC. And once you're done with that, simply right click on any empty area of your desktop and then click on NVIDIA Control Panel. All right, so here comes the good part of NVIDIA Control Panel. You'll find all of your tasks on the left side and everything that you want to change on the right side first things first go to adjust image settings with preview and then click on use the advanced 3d settings over here simply go to the manage 3d settings section and here comes the big part first one is image scaling i highly recommend you guys to turn this thing to off but if you have a super low end pc you can simply enable it and keep it somewhere around 39 or 40 it will make your game a little bit sharper but you can enjoy that good 5% FPS boost with this. So if you prefer that 5% FPS boost, but your image will go a little bit sharper, you can go up with this. Next is ambient occlusion, and this is also important. Simply click on performance. You always want this on performance. Anisotropic filtering should be app control. FXAA should be completely turned off. This will make a lot of difference. If you have FXAA enabled, you'll get a lot less FPS in your games. So I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off. Gamma correction, I want you guys to turn this thing on. It's super convenient. If you have monitor parities, uh, display parities, gamma correction will automatically create the best colors for your monitor. So that's great. Uh, Anti-aliasing mode, uh, I highly recommend you guys to leave it to app control. Transparency should be turned off because this will consume a lot of GPU. Next is background application max frame rate. I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off. And after that, we have the CUDA GPUs. That means all of the processing power of your GPU. Simply click on it and select your GPU from the list over here. Click on OK. You also have a DSR factor and DSR is nothing but how far your monitor can upscale your display resolution so if you have a 1920 by 1080 p display resolution you can upscale it to 4k so that's what dsr factor does and i prefer you guys to keep it to 1.78 because it is two times more efficient do not use any legacy scaling option over here and then we have the dsr smoothness so i highly recommend you guys to keep it 100 um, then we have the low latency mode i always recommend you guys to keep it to ultra if you don't know what's the difference between in low latency mode off or ultra you can watch this video in the description below or from the i button on top of the screen once again low latency mode will allow you to get less input delay and your gaming experience will be enhanced we also have max frame rate over here turn this thing off and mfaa also turn this thing off you have the OpenGL rendering gpu i highly recommend you guys to set this to your gpu do not leave it auto select especially when you are using a laptop. Then we have power management mode. By default, it will be on adaptive, but I highly recommend you guys to go with the preferred maximum performance. We also have a preferred refresh rate. So just go with highest available. Every time you have the highest available, refresh it on your monitor, it will use that. For shader cache size, I highly recommend you guys to go with driver default. And for uh, texture filtering, copy the same on allow performance on and then we have this threaded optimization and this is really important i highly recommend you guys to leave it to auto because many games uses multi-threaded rendering while many uses single threaded rendering so once again if you set it to auto it will allow your pc to choose which games should use multi-threaded and which one should use single threaded if you by default forces to multi-threading there are chances that you likely face fps issues so i highly recommend you guys to turn this thing to auto then we have triple buffering and this is set to be turned on and then we have vsync i highly recommend you guys to use the 3d settings because uh, uh, many games uses uh, vertical sync by default so 
uh, there is no point in turning this off over here you can just go and turn off vsync in game settings we have virtual reality pre-rendered frames i highly recommend you guys to go with one and the last option should be set to off once you are done with these settings now here is the third setting panel which is configure surround or physics now over here simply you will find your processor in the physics settings simply select your gpu over here and then click on apply that concludes all of your performance with your nvidia graphics card i hope this video might have helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below it seriously appreciates me a lot we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out